Hello, so uh, after my last video about how to use NFTs in Unity, many people asked me uh, to make a more detailed video. So I created a GitHub repository for you guys, so you can just check it out and you will end up uh, with this. So here's the link, I will put it in the description. It's called Solana Unity Deep Links Example. And you can just start the Deep Link Example scene click play and it will also work in the editor so you can just uh, request the nfts it just gets the nfts from um, from a random wallet and um, what it does is uh, it loads the nfts and it provides uh, the functionality to show also a token that you could use in your game and you can like uh, request uh, certain attributes of the nfts and do certain things with it so for example i just added a simple power level to uh, show how, yeah, how it works basically and then you can uh, also um, mint directly nfts uh, in phantom and you can also swap tokens directly in phantom and yeah you can basically use it to log into your game using the phantom wallet deep links on ios and on android and i will quickly show you how this looks uh, on the phone so I sync my iPhone and here you can see it uh, opens the app, then I connect it to Phantom, I sign a transaction and like a message and I'm logged in. And here it has all my NFTs already cached, so it's very fast, uh, there's a little context menu. I can directly go here on these deep links and uh, for example mint myself a beaver um, which is nice because you can directly in your game mint something and the people can use it in the game directly then uh, i go back to the app and another cool thing that you can do is you can click here on this get soul play token and it immediately opens uh, the radium swap and pre-selects the token for you and then you can directly buy this token within the app and then you go back to your game and yeah you have a token um the tokens are cached so i can also like force it to be not cached which takes a lot longer so for the first start you need to like wait a bit because for every token you need to do an rpc call and then do another one to get the information and I have 39 tokens in my account, so it takes a while. But uh, after they are loaded once, it will be super fast. Okay, um, we also use the same technology here for our game World of Kyodai. So you can just um, Phantom Deep Link, connect, and uh, I'm locked into the game. So now I will show you a little bit uh, how it's done. Um, basically we go to the deep link servers and you can first of all see that there's a bunch of uh, imports that shouldn't be there um, so basically what we do is we try to get the phantom key from uh, the public key from the phantom wallet so how we do this is we first call phantom login and for that we just uh, have to pass in a url which has the metadata in this case i just used the url from one of my games and this shows then the icon and the title this will be the little thing that you saw earlier when i connected um yeah when i logged into phantom um, then this is the <clears throat> deep link URL scheme. In my case, it's Soulplay. And in the project, you have to set this up so that uh, iOS finds where to do the deep link to. So here in the player settings, you can see that I have set it up here under supported URL schemes. And this has to be the same string as is set up um, here in the deep linking service. Yeah, soul play, and that's the one uh, it then uses. And yeah, then just uh, we need to pass in the metadata URL. Then um, 
the base 58 encoded public key and the redirect URL where the redirect URL is solplay dot slash slash and then the function name that should be called. And then we just open the URL and on the phone it opens the app and when it's approved um, it gets back here. So here on application deep link activated it goes to on deep link activated and we get the URL back. This is the deep link URL and this one has a bunch of parameters which you can see here in the um, documentation from um, Phantom Developer Docs. And you can see I need to like request it with the dub encryption public key redirect link app URL and what it returns me is the Phantom encrypt public key a nonce and the data and the data is encrypted and encoded in base 58. So we need to split the parameters from the URL. Then we check if it's null. That means that the player or the user canceled the uh, request. Then we need to uh, encrypt the message. For that we use uh, tween NACL. This is this library here, which I put into the project. And then for that we need to uh, decode the data that we got. Then we need to decode the nonce we got from Phantom. Then we need to decode the public key from Phantom. And then we need uh, our own private key that we created earlier. So here we created the key. So I just used the X25519 key agreement. And it's, uh, yeah, that's another library that I just Googled and put into the project basically. <laughs> but uh, then here I get the base58 public key. And then I have the encrypted message. Then from that message, I convert it into a string. And when it's a string, it will be a JSON. So with JSON utility, I can just uh, unpack it. And then I have this serializable class here. It's just public key and session. And then uh, I check if the public key is not null. And then I set the public key here in my Phantom Deep Link service and the session. And the session we will later need for transactions, but the transactions are still uh, in progress since I couldn't uh, get it to work yet, but I will probably work on that next week. Then the next thing that you may be interested in is the NFT service. The NFT service, I request the NFTs from public key that I just put in the public key that I got from Phantom. And it also has a try local content which um, yeah all the data is also saved locally in a persistent data pass using um, yeah just saving it there as a png um, yeah i send some messages here so that the ui can react on it then i get the owned token accounts uh, for the public key this is an rpc call uh, get all tokens you can look at the code uh, later yourself if you want, but it's uh, quite straightforward. It's just the RPC client, public key. Um, I, I couldn't get it to work with a Putnik and token mint public key here. I think there's a bug in the library, but I will try to figure that out later because it would be nice to get the, the sole play token that you saw on the top right. Also like just get that one mint instead of requesting all tokens if I want to update this one token. Um, then if the token accounts are null, then it's the player is probably not connected to the internet. So I show a blimp here. Um, then I just save the token accounts. Um, I pass them. Here I get the NFT data. This uh, NFT class is from Solan Art. Um, it's actually very nice. So I think they were the first who created the Unity wallet. So now I'm just trying to throw everything out that is the wallet and reuse the stuff that I still need, which is definitely the NFT stuff. And yeah, so that loads then the data. Then I have the whole data at some point. I just put them here into this, uh, into this list. And then I have my NFT list. 
item list view and in this list view i just say get all the nfts and put them in a list and that's basically it and the nft view is just an icon a dummy icon just getting the texture from the nft data setting the power level i created myself a power level service which um, just checks if in this case just if the nft is a beaver then i calculate the beaver power just depending on which stats it has i put in some numbers so if it's for example the rabbit king or has sharingan eyes then it will be super strong um, that's just an example how you can use the um, attributes of the NFTs. So for example in our game World of Kyodai we use the um, stats for example for strength, intelligence and so on. Strength makes you stronger when you're a melee weapon equipped. Dexterity makes you stronger when you're shooting with a bow. And what else do you want to know? Yeah, if you have any questions just um, First look at the code and try it out. Just deploy it on your phone. It's very easy. You just go file, build and run. It opens um, Xcode and then you can put it on your iPhone. Try it out. Um, yeah, it's actually a very nice experience. I think it's nicer than having the uh, wallet in your game because um, it's always annoying if people need to save another one of these key phrases somewhere and they have a wallet anyway on their phones already, usually, if they are into Solana. And also when the Zaga phone comes out, this will be like ready for that, because it will probably work in a similar way, I assume. So it just opens some deep link or some different connection. And yeah, I think that's a very good way to do it. So yeah, check out the repository, let me know. Um, how you like it and um, if you want to participate I still have problems getting the uh, transactions to work because I can't manage to um, serialize a transaction with no signer and then send it to Phantom and there's basically no feedback from Phantom wallet at all like I open the deep link and it just does nothing so it would be cool if anyone wants to participate, just look at the code, play around a bit and yeah, just uh, make a PR, I will review it and then yeah, we are all working together. It's going to be great. See you guys.